That was bloody brilliant. Oh, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Perhaps it would be more useful if I were to transfigure Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch. That way one of you might be on time. We got lost. Then perhaps a map. I trust you don't need one to find your seats. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, I don't understand. Is that bad? It's bad. Good evening. No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. You see, honourable as your intentions were, you two were out of bed after hours. You're going to expel us, aren't you? Not today, Mr. Weasley. We can't cancel Quidditch. Silence would. I could I go. can't. Only a parent or a guardian can sign. Since I am neither, it would be inappropriate. What? Do nothing? Offer him up as bait? I mean, Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. Is that a, is that a student? <laughs> you will do well to remember it. Wait. Silence! The house of Godric Gryffindor has commanded the respect of the wizard world for nearly ten centuries. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Right hand on my waist. Where? My waist. And extend your arm. Not at all, Dolores. Merely your medieval methods. Something you'd like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Mr. Davis! Mr. Davis, that is the girls' lavatory. Enjoying ourselves, are we? Well, I had a free period this morning, Professor. So I noticed. I would think you would want to fill it with potions. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an aura? Well, it was, but I was told I had to get an outstanding in my OWL. So you did when Professor Snape was teaching potions. However, Professor Slughorn is perfectly happy to accept new students with exceeds expectations. Brilliant. Um, well, I'll head there straight away. Oh, good, good. Potter, take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? Students in the corridor! They are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. Let me get this straight, Professor. You're actually giving us permission to do this. That is correct, Longbottom. To blow it up. Boom. Boom! Of the host school, I expect each and every one of you to put your best foot forward. And I mean this literally because the Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. <laughs> <laughs>